James Alman Fernandes from VA Systems. Uh, here we'd like to show you some of the uh, desktop trainer. Uh, the desktop trainer is actually used as part of the training system to teach the students how to navigate through the displays, the, 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 the actual controls, and all the masses of data and information that's on here. It's also used to teach them how to use all the switches <coughs> and the controls on the HOTAS, which is the hands and throttle and stick. As you can see, there's lots of different switches on the throttle, lots of different switches on the stick. It may look daunting, but really, they'll only use certain switches in certain phases of flight. Um, the setup and the cockpit layout is the same as the Hawk that's in, in use in the Royal Air Force in England. Um, if you take that display out and replace it with a, uh, a standby radio controller, the layout is then exactly the same as the Indian Hawk Mark 132. Um, the layout has got uh, head down glass displays, it's got an upfront control panel, it's got a head up display. That's designed specifically like that because your frontline aircraft have got that sort of layout and they've got that sort of information. Now, one of the things that we've actually added for the Royal Air Force and we're looking at adding for the uh, uh, Indian Air Force is radar simulation, radar warning simulation, and weapon simulation. What that allows you to do is actually train the students into features, functions, and systems that they normally only get exposure to on the frontline aircraft. And as the frontline aircraft is usually 10 times more expensive than the, the um, training aircraft, it's far cheaper to do it on here. So as you can see on here, this is a typical radar display. At the moment, this is a Typhoon radar display. You can change it to whatever display you want. The core functionality remains the same. It allows a student to do things like actually lock onto a target using the cursor. He can lock onto it, he can put a target into his, his target data block. He can put a number of different targets in there if he wanted to. He can change the radar scales. He can change the, the actual azimuth view. He can change the number of bars. Everything that he would expect to do when he's training on the frontline aircraft and using the radar on the frontline aircraft, he can do on here. Now, when he's actually got a target in the data box, he's also got the associated symbols in here that display. So he's got the radar information on there, which is the closing speed, the aspect, and the range. He's also got the, the radar um, box there that shows him where the target is with the aspect on there. In this case, he's also got a SAM site that's actually locked onto him. It's an SA8. So it not only allows the student to, to manipulate the radar, uh, lock onto other aircraft, it also allows the other aircraft to lock onto him. So he has to do the, the defensive brake lock maneuvers to break against that. When you look on the map, this additional movement map that again is looking at an upgrade for the Indian Hawk, uh, you've got all the information on the map that you'd expect to, uh, including things like the SAM site, which the instructor can put in or he can put on mission planning. This one's a hostile SAM site, it's an SA8, and you can see the green triangle is where the aircraft is, and that's actually flowed into it. And that's why we look at the head up display, you can actually see. He's locked onto him, and you look onto the radar warning display, which is across here. That red line that goes through the green circle in the middle tells him it's a hostile threat locked onto him. Now, normally, the student will only ever be exposed to this when he's on the frontline aircraft. The, the, the beauty of exposing to him on the training aircraft is it becomes, by the end of the training, he's a far more capable and competent pilot by the time he reaches the operational conversion unit, when he actually shrinks down the operational conversion unit time because he knows, that, knows how to manipulate the systems, he just has to transfer his learning.